one time we was at the feed store and that tire right there we was backing up and I'll tell you a story about it so we picked up some uh, hay and feed and when we backed up the tire come off <laughs> it just broke away from the frame and uh there's a uh, at one time that truck had a wreck or it wasn't really a wreck the guy ran off the road uh, and it had a flat tire so we think that probably caused it but uh, that truck there's something small like this and I can't really describe it as good as Bill could but um, it broke loose from the dismo that holds the tire to the frame and all that so the tire went just like this, like bam, just sideways. Like, I thought, oh no. And how lucky we felt that that truck did it right there and not out on the highway. So this older truck, uh, he's putting two new things uh, on it because that's, he's afraid that's going to happen to them because there were uh, some little round thing uh, that hooks everything together so uh, he's gonna be busy on repairing them he hasn't want to uh, drive the truck much um, because of that uh, we go pretty far out and I'd hate to be stuck out in the wild places with a truck uh, broke down like that we had to have that that white truck towed home and uh, boy, it was terrible to think what it cost him but uh, the tow truck guy says this is what it is and you could do this he was so helpful that tr uh, tow truck and uh, that guy telling Bill how to fix it and sure enough uh, Bill could fix it so that's what he's doing uh, with that older truck uh, trying to fix it before it breaks down so he'll be working on that for a while but today I'm gonna get these I got two of them high biscuits and take them in the sunroom and put them in a bigger pot I think a lot of these are probably ripped down time they grow in the nursery and get trucked all over the place and then sitting at Lowe's for a long time I'm sure they get ripped down and them high biscuits uh, they're gonna be in the sunroom so I'm gonna get them some new soil and take a look at the roots and this one here uh, it's really leaning over So I want to straighten that up and I think it's going to like a new pot. And then here was another one. I don't know what in the world it is. I, I went ahead and took it. It said preannual. I don't know what it is. I hope it makes it through the sunroom, you know, winter okay. I thought it was cute. So... And I don't really need no more uh, really flowers in the sunroom, but I couldn't hardly pass some of that up. And I'm thinking I might keep one of them garlics in the sunroom. I, I like having garlic that I can pick through the winter. So uh, I'm going to do that kind of work. They don't want me do up and down work but at least I can do some potting not enjoy that so that's what I'm going to do and Belle it's, it's a mess anyway but she's really been tearing up the sunroom looking high and low for mice uh, so I got a lot of cleanup to do and uh, Sunny comes in here and digs stuff out looking but I don't mind cleaning it up. It's got to be done. I think I'll 
be giving this uh, plant um, some food. It looks uh, like it needs a little extra help. It, it is going to put out a new flower. And one over here. And one over there. But uh, anyway. I'll plant these together because of the, the space. But look, I got two of them here. How about that? Uh, normally I, I would separate them. But I'm going to be moving uh, lots of plants in here. And I'll need the space. But sometime or another, I'll, I'll split that. But anyway, I'm thinking, there's my garlic. Uh, about when I move plants in here, because I got so much garlic now, what if I plant garlic with my pots I bring in? Put a couple of them in there. Do you think that would discourage white flies or other bugs being around the garlic? Anyway, because... I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and experiment and separate some of that and put them in <laughs> with my plants I bring in. And that way I can still have garlic in the sunroom. I've told y'all uh, on uh, before about people wearing dark clothes in this area. It's normal. And uh, the reason why... Uh, the water is hard here. Uh, it don't clean your clothes good. So uh, people wear darker clothes. So you don't see the stains so bad. But uh, you'll see. Uh, this is the town water. And when they, they water that stuff. It gets a salty crust on its minerals. Uh, some places you can't water that the water is so hard you can't water a pot because it goes into the roots and it kills your plant uh, I'm lucky this place here I can water it with our well it won't kill uh, that noise is bell she's working <laughs> tearing up stuff but anyway uh, that's why people wear dark clothes because uh, the water is so hard it don't clean clothes good at all anyway I'm going to take, take these out and look at their roots and I went and got me some other pots a little bigger and I'm going to put them in there for the winter plus food what are you growling at? I think it's her imagination. But anyway, I'm going to be potting and Belle's going to be hunting. So we're both going to do some work. Well, the roots don't look too bad. It's a little tight. So I can rip that open and I loosen them up. Let them have some growth. So I'll work on that. I sure want to split that one, but maybe next spring I'll do it. But they're going to be so happy in their new soil, new pot. Well, I went ahead and separate them. I put them in the same pot, but that way they can grow maybe a little better each of them have room around the roots well they started out little here's a little pot or something right there cut that get that away from there and that has the same thing little pot oh I saw oh so I'll get them in the pot. It, this is Tiger's bed. So he's got to fix it up. I was going to shake it out. Got some dirt in it, but looks like he's going to fix it. He's always with me, so I made a little bed in here for him. He, he got settled down. 
Well, I'm going to separate these. And I figured they were ripped down because garlic's easy to get ripped down. So I'm going to try to separate some of these and put them in with these pots. Uh, it does smell like garlic a little bit when you uh, grow them in the sunroom. You can smell it a little bit, but I'll get so many other plants in here. And Bill said last night, he said, you know, I can't wait for you to uh, get all them plants in there because uh, at night we'd open up the window uh, and all that nice fresh air comes in, in our bedroom and it'll conk you out, make you sleep so good. It's like sleeping in the forest. And we can do that way up into the winter before it gets too cold out here at night because it'll stay pretty warm. And I said, oh yeah, boy, I sure enjoyed that. As soon as we open that bedroom window up, air just flows in there and just smells so good. So all the other plants kind of override the garlic smell. But I might put more garlic in here with all of my plants anyway and I do like to chew on these or cook with them and I'm getting some uh, new little garlic coming up here I believe they call this fancy garlic but I do like them sometimes if the roots are really difficult you can put them in water just let them soak a while and it really helps break them loose a lot easier but what you doing mom? you're awful nosy so I'll come back to them in a little bit see how I can separate them I got the, them cleaned off good so I can start working them start pulling them apart so when I pull them apart if they break off and there's some that broke off and I'll just take them in the house and use them for cooking and then I can put these little groups like this they're a little tough to pull apart but just have to try to go nice and slow Well, I brought them back out. I got the garlic in both of them. And uh, time I bring them in the sunroom, I hope to have them uh, more recovered, looking better. And they, they, they got some food, some garlic, and I hope they'll be happy. So I got to do a few more plants that might go in the sunroom later on. I appreciate y'all coming by watching me work in the sunroom. Bye from Out West Homestead. I appreciate you coming by. What are you going to do? Try to jump up on that table? Huh? That's a pretty high jump. I don't know. She's been on that table before. You gonna jump? Does it look scary? I don't know. I get this all straightened up. She's gonna have a good old time getting it messy again. My hunter. I don't think she will. Must be something in her way.